So what is latency? Well, for our discussion, we'll define latency as the time taken for an audio signal to travel from its source to its destination. Now, while it's on this journey from source to destination, there are three domains through which our audio signal could travel. And these are the physical domain, which is the world around us, it's the world we live in, literally the air that we breathe. Then there's the analog domain, which is the world that exists inside our analog audio equipment. And there's also the digital domain, which is the world that exists inside our digital audio equipment. And in each of these domains, an audio signal takes on a different form. In the physical domain, our audio exists as sound. And sound's conveyed through fluctuations in air pressure. And once this sound's captured by a microphone, it enters the analog domain, where it exists as a continually fluctuating analog signal. And this is normally conveyed as either a fluctuating electrical voltage or a fluctuating electrical current. And once this analog signal is captured by an audio interface, it enters the digital domain, where it exists as a series of zeros and ones. And these are passed to our computer for processing. But before the audio signal can be heard as sound again, it must make the return journey back to the physical domain. So once the processing is finished, our signal makes its way to the audio interface's output, where it passes once again into the analog domain. And when it gets to the speaker, it passes back out to the physical domain, where it exists again as sound pressure waves, ready to be enjoyed by anyone who's listening. So in each of these domains, the physical domain, the analog domain, and the digital domain, as well as taking on different forms, the audio signal also travels at different speeds. And what this means is that each domain is going to contribute differently to our system's overall latency. So while logic keeps installing, let's take a closer look at each individual domain to see if we can get a handle on where and why latency occurs. So I'll see you in the next video.